so what's up everyone welcome back to our video in today's video we're going to create this environment using blender it's pretty easy to create we're going to use particle system so let's get started so i'm in blender right now and if you guys didn't know what i'm clicking or pressing it's going to show whatever i click as you can see i'm clicking spacebar so that may help so let's get started so i'm going to press a and delete everything by pressing delete shift a add a torus reduce the minor radius and kind of increase the major radius i'm going to increase uh, i'm going to increase the minor radius a bit right click and shade smooth and i'm going to go particle system plus click on the plus and click on here and click on advanced and now i'm gonna give it um uh, 5000 and here length 5 or 5.1 and now i'm gonna add a force field shift a and go to force field and add wind and now i'm gonna go to physics grab the strength and move it kind of like that kind of over there as you can see a hole just kind of like that now i'm gonna add one more force field shift a add a turbulence I'm gonna increase the strength and you can see it's doing something I'm gonna increase this turbulence and now what I'm what, what I want to do is, is go to render render setting change from EV to cycles from CPU to GPU if you guys have a GPU you can change it to GPU if you don't have a GPU you can just keep it on CPU and um, I'm gonna click on curve and I'm gonna keep it on rounded ribbons and I'm gonna increase I'm gonna max it out and cubo display I'm gonna click on script and max it out on free click on the torus go to the particle properties and i'm gonna increase the length to maybe over there or maybe i'm gonna decrease the length kind of like that i'm gonna click on the render and click on the B supply and kind of increase it to max the more you increase the better quality is gonna give I'm gonna keep it on 9 I'm gonna click on viewport display and grab the strand steps to 7 and I'll click on the hair shape and kind of decrease it maybe over there and now i'm gonna increase the hair length kind of kind of over there and now i'm gonna add a camera i'm gonna go to bottom if they add a camera and move it just right around there and move it forward and now i'm gonna move it a bit forward and and i'm i'm gonna decrease the focal length right over there i'm gonna save the file and and i'm gonna go go to render preview and 
I'm gonna add a point light. Move it right over there. I'm gonna go to environment settings and I and turn my world black. And move my point light over there. And I'm gonna increase the density to around 100. And shift D. Add one more point light and move it right around there. Take these both point lights and move it up a little bit so we can see it clearly. I'm gonna adjust those point lights. Now I'm gonna add a sphere, add a UV sphere. Right click shade smooth, move it up. Scale it a bit more. Move it up like that. And scale it a little more. Kinda like that. And now I'm gonna go the wall properties and click on volume. Click on click on principal volume. And now I'm gonna decrease the density point two. Now I'm gonna go to shader viewport shading. Click on the sphere. Add a new material and add a emission material. And now I'm gonna give it kind of over there. I like that and I'm gonna increase the density to 100 and I'm gonna change the point light color from white to kind of over there and and I'm gonna change that light too Over there, I'm gonna increase the density to 300 of both, and I'm gonna click on Taurus, add a new material, and I'm gonna fill up the metallic and take down the roughness, kind of like that, and I'm gonna make it kind of dark click on the sphere scale it up move it up I'm gonna increase the strength of sphere to 100 to 200 and I'm gonna click on Taurus and adjust some settings in particles I'm gonna go to hair shape and on the tip, I'm gonna increase a little. I'm gonna inc increase a little more. You can adjust these settings by yourself, however you want. I'm gonna go to render setting and increase increase the and increase the contrast to high contrast i'm going to select a point light and increase the density to 1000 take the other take the other point light and increase the power to 1000 and i'm going to move it earlier in Kind over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna click on the Taurus and make it a kind it kind of brighter, kind of like that. And now the project is ready to render. I'm gonna save the file. I'm gonna show you the render setting. 
output setting and I'm gonna turn file format to JPEG increase the quality and now I'm gonna render it click on render and render image and as you can see it's pretty easy to create and we created in some minutes and you can adjust all of these settings by yourself you can play play you can play with it and adjust it however you want so as you can see we just easily created the render in few minutes and you should you, you guys should try something and make something by yourself so you guys will learn something in blender and if you if you guys learn something from this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel and comment on below what should i create next in the video and i'll see you in the next video